Hello guys and welcome back to another video from my YouTube channel that is Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials. In this video we are going to talk about a very important topic that is recessive epistasis. Okay, so recessive epistasis ke baare mein aaj padhenge. Before that I would like to tell you that I am active on Unacademy. So you can follow me on Unacademy by clicking on this particular icon and the link is given in the description below. And you can also download the Unacademy's education app from Google Play Store for better learning experience. This is the logo of Unacademy so that you can, uh, you will not be confused in between many apps. Right, so you can download Unacademy's app from Google Play Store for better learning experience, and you can follow many kind of educators present over there, and you can watch all my videos made till date on the Unacademy's platform. Let's start our topic of discussion, that is the recessive epistasis. So, firstly, we have to understand the definition of epistasis and hypostasis. So, epistasis is a phenomena, hai. and what is epistatic gene? The gene which mask the expression of other non-allelic genes. We know very well that two non-allelic genes are present in pair in case of gene interaction, right? So there are two alleles. So both of alleles present hote hain. So one allele used to hide the expression or mask the expression of other non-allelic gene. So the gene that used to mask or hide the expression of other gene is known as epistatic gene and the gene whose expression is masked or hided is hypostatic gene yani ki jo gene hide ya mask karega ek dusre gene ke expression ko use hum bolenge epistatic gene epi means upar so it will be above the hypostatic gene because it is dominant kyunki ye dusre ko mask kar sakta hai lekin the hypostatic gene is the one jiska expression hide ho raha hai so there is a difference between epi and hypostatic gene एपिस्टेटिक दूसरे का एक्सप्रेशन हाइड करेगा एंड हाइपोस्टेटिक जीन इज द जीन जिसका एक्सप्रेशन हाइड होगा इन द नॉन एलिलिक पेयर राइट सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट रिसेसिव एपिस्टेसिस एंड सेम काइंड ऑफ क्रॉस यू विल फाइंड इन द सप्लीमेंट्री जीन सो यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर सम अदर रेशियो और सम अदर क्रॉस फॉर सप्लीमेंट्री जीन्स टू कुछ बुक्स में सप्लीमेंट्री जीन्स करके ऐसा दे रखा है कुछ बुक में रिसेसिव एपिस्टेसिस करके ऐसा दे रखा है सो डोंट हैव टू गेट कंफ्यूज बिटवीन दैट ओके so homozygous recessive allele masks the expression of dominant allele because it is recessive epistasis so the very simple trick to understand recessive epistasis is that epistatic simply means jo dusre ke expression ko hide kar dega aur jo gene dusre ke expression ko hide kar dega wo kaisa hoga recessive hoga in nature mein so recessive jo nature mein hoga wo dominant gene ka expression hide kar dega because it is epistatic राइट सो होमोजाइगस रिसेसिव अलील विल मास द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ डोमिनेंट अलील लेट्स टेक अ वेरी फेमस एग्जांपल ऑफ माइस कलर सो द माइस कोट कलर कैन बी ऑफ थ्री डिफरेंट कलर्स वन इज अगोटी व्हिच इज वाइल्ड इट मींस दैट द नॉर्मल कलर ऑफ माइस इज अगोटी राइट देन देयर कैन बी अ कलर्ड माइस एंड देयर कैन बी एन अल्बाइनो माइस सो यू हैव टू मेमोराइज द नेम्स दैट अगोटी इज द वाइल्ड अमंग देम एंड यू हैव टू मेमोराइज इट टू राइट सो देयर आर टू जीन्स रिस्पांसिबल फॉर द कलर coat color that is c and a so if both c and a are dominant whether they are homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant homo uh, the dominant gene can always express itself does not matter it is homozygous or heterozygous this uh, jo dominant hota hai wo hamesha express kar deta hai so c and a jab dono capital honge it means that when both of them are dominant it will form a gouty color when only c is dominant it will form colored mice so there is also a very simple trick that only capital c is dominant then it is going to be colored because colored is starting from capital c and only capital c is dominant over here and when only a is dominant or when both of them are recessive it will form albino right and when we will cross all these things when we will टेक द एफ टू जनरेशन तो उसकी जो सोलह प्रोजनीस होंगी उसके जब हम रेशियोज लेते हैं देन अगाउटी विच इज ऑफ वाइल्ड टाइप ऑब्वियसली हैविंग द लार्जेस्ट नंबर दैट इज नाइन देन कलर्ड विल बी हैविंग थ्री एंड द अल्बाइनो विल बी हैविंग फोर इन नंबर बिकॉज दिस रिसेसिव केस इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडिंग इन अल्बाइनो विच मेक्स इट फोर इन नंबर बिकॉज दिस इज एन एडिशनल केस राइट सो द पेरेंट लेट्स टेक पेरेंट्स ऑफ कलर्ड माइस दैट इज कैपिटल सी ओनली कैपिटल सी इज प्रेजेंट ओवर हेयर because in colored which is starting from capital c only c is dominant a is recessive right so this is going to be the combination and in albino 
only a is dominant or both of them are recessive so we have taken this condition of albino so when we will cross colored and albino we will get capital c small c capital a small a that is both of them are dominant and when both of these genes representing color are dominant it will form agouti or wild type color so this is quite important ki jab hum ek colored mice ko cross karate hain albino mice se then the progeny will be having agouti color okay wo hogi agouti ki so capital c uh, capital c small a small a will be representing colored mice because only c is dominant in this case albino because only a is dominant in this case both are dominant that is agouti and in a case where both are recessive that is also included in albino so jab yahan par hum parents ki baat karte hain and we when we used to make gametes from parents that is capital c small a there is no other choice and small c capital a there is no other choice as well when they combine in f1 generation they will form capital c small c capital a small a that is agouti and when we used to self that agouti of f1 generation to form f2 generation then we will get a combination like this so what are going to be the possible gametes let's make gametes so capital c small a uh, sorry capital c capital a is the first gamete capital c then small a then small c capital a then small c small a these are going to be four gametes of one organism and then four gametes of the same organism as well because this is a selfing selfing process so yahan par gametes dono side mein same honge right and when we will combine them this is capital c capital c capital a capital a this is going to be agouti because both of them are dominant in this case both are dominant this is heterozygous dominant but at least is it, it is dominant so yahan par kya hoga agouti fir se hoga kyunki heterozygous hoya homozygous dominant will always express itself then yahan par bhi heterozygous case hai lekin dominant to dominant hota hai isliye yahan par agouti again then agouti again then here also agouti this is colored because colored is starting from capital c and only capital c is dominant over here so it is colored then agouti because both are dominant here colored because only capital c is dominant it is heterozygous dominant in this case here agouti because both are dominant agouti again because both are dominant then albino it is starting from capital a albino is starting from capital a only a is dominant it is also albino because only a is dominant then agouti because both are dominant colored because only c is dominant albino because only capital a is dominant so you can learn it as agouti is wild type so wo tabhi hoga jab dono dominant honge okay colored is starting from capital c so only capital c must be dominant albino is starting from capital a so capital a will be dominant and the last case in which both are recessive is included in albino so there are how many agouti 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 9 are agouti and how many of them are colored 1 2 and 3 are colored okay how many are albino 1 2 3 Four, four are albino. So the ratio is going to be nine ratio three ratio four, where nine are agouti, which are of wild type, where both C and A are dominant. Colored, which is starting from capital C, where only capital C is dominant. That's why having three progenies. Albino starting from capital A, therefore only capital A is dominant. But an additional case is also added in albino. That's why it is having three plus one, that is four number of progeny. So the ratio is going to be nine ratio three ratio four in case of epistasis and what kind of epistasis recessive epistasis and the same ratio is going to be for supplementary genes so you don't have to uh, you know confuse in between epistatic genes and supplementary genes so recessive epistasis and supplementary genes are almost alike so this is going to be ratio from which we can find the probable number of uh, outcomes in each of the particular categories chahe wo agouti ho chahe wo albino ho chahe wo colored ho hum aasani se pata kar sakte hain from this particular Uh, punnett square so this is all about the recessive epistasis i hope you like the video very well agar aapko samajh mein aayi then do hit like button and if you are watching my video for the very first time and you found it beneficial then share this video with your friends and tell them to subscribe my channel too thank you